Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel and to part two of the story of my uncle. Um, so I left off just exactly, <laughs> or I'm starting exactly where I left off. And yeah, so we're going to try to get up on this rock and hopefully I won't fall to my death or whatever you would call it happens here. So let's see if we can make it this time. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I found a second power cord. You can now grapple two times before landing. This thing got like slings you and you like don't know if you're gonna make it or not. Okay, I'm like stuck. No. Okay, there we go. <gasps> oh god. I was gonna be not happy. Okay, we came from that way. See I got like thrown into that corner and I lost my direct sense of direction there. down to me. Where am I going now? Oh, I was supposed to catch the... Uh, hopefully this will hold on. Oh shit, this is like taking forever. I feel like it's just gonna... Did you ever see any of Fred's experiments yourself? Yes. I actually helped him collect samples for his research sometimes. To learn about them? That's right. We found all sorts of things. One time, we went to the forest and found a small pool of water that was full of eggs. Eggs? Were there chickens in the forest? No, not chicken eggs. These were small and jelly-like. Hundreds of them. Fred told me that they were frog eggs. He was in for a surprise though. Guess what happened? What? What happened? Well, we took some eggs back home, and one day, Fred woke up with bites all over his body. Turns out, it wasn't frog eggs after all. It was mosquito eggs. Ah, oh, poor Fred. I know. He did find real frog eggs eventually. He told me that they were very, very special but I don't know what happened to them.
Hmm. These blue lights. Did Fred put them here? Or was somebody else here as well? This is pretty, a pretty good game. I'm really enjoying it. There's something calming about it, I guess visually, but it's at the same time you're doing all these like really major jumps and it's kind of intense. <laughs> it's kind of like this weird blend of soothing and stressful. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. But I do think it's a very beautiful, visually beautiful game. And the story so far seems kind of, kind of, I don't know, interesting. Hello, who are you? You're not from here. Wow, you look just like Fred, but smaller and with less hair on your face. <laughs> she knew Fred. I told her that he was my uncle and that I was looking for him. What's an uncle? I said that he was, that I had known him all my life. Really? Me too. I'll help you find him. I'm Madeline. The others call me Mad Maddie sometimes. I don't know why really, but you can call me Maddie. You've never been to the village, right? Let's meet over there in the square. I'll show you around. I bet you can get there easily with your suit thing. So, I'll see you there. I couldn't believe it. An underground village inhabited by frog people. Or more like salamanders. Either way, they, they walked like humans. They talked like humans. How is that possible? Oh, okay. Please make it. <laughs> Okay. I did it. This is like stressful. Oh, so close. In there. It's like I just stopped running or something even though I didn't. Over here. Hey. Hi. Welcome to my village. This is the town square, and that over there is Fred's tent. I haven't seen him in a few days, though. Maybe our elder Samuel knows where he is. He knows a lot of stuff. Mostly boring stuff, if you ask me, but it's worth a try. Before asking him, though, you should check out the village. It's not so bad, unless you have to stay for too long. When you're done, go to the island with the windmill. And you'll see Samuel's coat from there. I'll go on ahead and tell him that you're coming. He's not much for surprises. Later!
I thanked Madeline and agreed to meet her later. It was strange. How could I talk to someone who was not even human and still feel like it was perfectly normal? Most of the shacks in the village were built out of trash. Trash from our world. It was, after all, a garbage disposal pad that took me here. Did Fred have any kids of his own? Nope. Not that I know of. He lived alone. He didn't really have any time for a family, I guess. He was always away, or busy, with his inventions. He could be gone for months at a time. I never knew how soon I would see him again. Don't you think he felt lonely then? I think he was too caught up in his projects to feel lonely. It seems like he found new friends in the village, though. Maddie seemed to be especially fond of him, taking after all that he did. Maybe Fred was like a father to her. She didn't have a real father, right? If she was born from an egg. That's right. That's another thing we had in common. 